Today we'll learn how to add reflection to an object in Affinity Photo. You can start with an image like this and turn it into this. So I'm here in Affinity Photo and I'll place the object I want to make a reflection of. I'll select File, Place, and I have this image of an apple here. I'll select Open and I've placed it here on my canvas. Now this is a transparent PNG. I recommend your object have a transparent background if possible. Now I'm going to duplicate my object. To quickly do that, you can select your object, then hold Alt and drag, and you can quickly make a copy. Now I'm gonna flip my object upside down. So I'll click Arrange, flip vertical, and then my object is upside down. I'll rename my layers just so it's clear. I'll call this top one Apple, and I'll call the bottom one Reflection. Now it's time to make this look like a reflection. So I'm gonna select my reflection layer, and I'm going to click Mask Layer. I'll expand this here, and you can see I have a mask. Now what I'm going to do is click the Gradient tool over here. So I'll select the Gradient tool, and then I'm going to click and drag to make it transparent. Now you can see it's fading to transparency here. Now if I zoom in, we can adjust the values as we like. So the pure white part of my gradient is going to be solid. But maybe I want that part to be a little bit transparent too. So I'll make it grayer, like that. You can adjust the slider in the middle too to control how quickly it changes. I think right there is pretty good. So if I alt click on my mask, this is what my mask looks like. The black part's gonna be completely transparent and the gray is going to be a subtle level of transparency. I can select my reflection here and I can slightly reposition it a little bit. Now I'm gonna select my reflection and I'm gonna add a slight blur to it also. So I'll click this button here, Live Filters, and then I'll select the top one, Gaussian Blur. And we just wanna add a little bit of a blur, not too much, maybe about one pixel. I'll close this. As a final touch, let's add a little bit more of a shadow under our apple here. I'll select the ellipse tool over here. And then I'll just create my shadow off to the side to begin with. So my shadow is going to look something like that. Now the shadow is going to be darkest in the center and it's going to fade out. So let's use a gradient fill for this ellipse. I'll click the gradient tool again. For type, let's choose elliptical. And now you can see I have this elliptical fill in there. So let me zoom in. I want to fade out to white. I'll drag the controls there. We can adjust it. I think that looks pretty good. And let's drag it under our apple, but above our reflection. And now let's actually put it there. So if I click off, you can see it doesn't quite look right. The white is blocking the reflection below it. This is a perfect example of when to use a blend mode. With my shadow selected, let's change the blend mode to multiply. And now you can see it looks much more realistic. And we can change the shape. We can fine tune the shadow as we like. If you want, you can again add a little bit of a blur to the shadow. So I'll select the shadow. I'll select live filters. Let's add another Gaussian blur. Just a little bit there. And here we have our final result. Some scenes have more complex reflections. For example, objects getting reflected in water. I'll be making a video on that in the future. So be sure to subscribe to this channel to get notified when that comes out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.